Hello everyone. Plant Assassin here. I just gonna do a quick video on yams. So this here is a Caucasian yam seedling. This just sprouted about a month ago. So I had the seeds in a mason jar in some wetted sand and I left them in there for about 60 days. For a while yams were kind of my white whale. I could not get the seeds to sprout. Here's another Caucasian yam seedling. Now the Caucasian yam is not edible, or at least I cannot find any journal articles or references to it online being edible, so. But it will overwinter in my area. And since I kind of like yams, um, any one that I can collect and grow here is a plus to me. One thing that I have found is that just putting them in a tray of um, kind of peat moss or um, any other medium with a very light coating of sand over it, this will help them germinate. And then I keep it wet. I have this little mister here. And I just kind of missed it down. You don't want it too wet. And then you wait. So the big thing with yams is you want fresh seeds. Uh, one of the things that was hindering me for years is a lot of the seeds you get on the internet. They are not very fresh. Um, if they are not fresh, <clears throat> they could be dead or they could go into an extended dormancy. So if they're in an extended dormancy, it could be one to two years before they sprout. And so then it's just a waiting game. So over here is a second yam species. This one is edible. And this one is Dioscoria. Hamiltoni or Hamilton's mountain yam. So this one's from China, India, those areas. I should also mention that when you're getting yam seeds online, and this holds true for pretty much anything that you're going to be buying online off the beaten path, you're getting amateur botany work. And there's nothing that <laughs> against amateur botanists. I am very much an amateur myself, but sometimes they're not always labeled correctly. So we'll have to let these grow and uh, then see. But these, I have done a similar thing where I just, I have some uh, coconut fiber and peat moss put the seeds down and then just a very light dusting of sand just enough to barely cover the seeds you can actually see seeds through here but it's just enough <clears throat> to say keep the seeds from moving around and then you wet the sand so you don't want it too wet but you can see that when I touch the sand it's just moist enough that it sticks to my fingers so I will need to transplant these. Um, you can move them once they're old enough to pick out. When I transplant them, I usually bury them a little bit further up than they were growing. That seems to do pretty well. Um, over here you can, I, this is just a spool of wire I got from a Home Depot and that's to kind of hold up uh, the stem. I do have a problem with them getting a little leggy, but I'm just uh, growing them here in the 
next to the window, so um, they may not be getting enough sunlight. Anyway, just wanted to do an update on that because uh, yams have been fun for me, but also very annoying because I've found them difficult. Main points, fresh seed um, and patience. Then number three, you want to make sure that you uh, have a consistent moisture and just uh, let them sit there for as long as they need to. Anyway, plant assassin. I hope you found this video informative and I'll uh, do an update if these guys survive and grow into mature vines.